Stories are very, very important. I try my best to give you what I have heard and learned at your age, at the age of 10, 12, even at the age of six or seven. This evening, I would like to tell you a, a story called Zikli Ne Yane, one that was raised in a mountain. It's a Navajo story. And it's a story about how things happen, how things that we are aware of today have come about. But not yet. The Natin at Zilli Ne Yana will yell Haneki to a but not yet. Bakodini Zil Eti Hanet Liniki Betsado Hashine La Hanet Nada Hotlot. What I'm going to give you. It's just a, uh, an outline, more or less, of what this, it's a very, very long story called Raised, One Who Is Raised in the Mountain. First, I forgot to introduce myself. For those of you who are just now tuning in, she, Peter McDonald, the Vishin Shnani Wanda. I said, that's your butler. Totich in it all yehegi, then linigi. Haladishi was at the Njonga Shada Haldia. You know, <coughs> we also, this week, we are approaching. Uh, what we call in America Independence Day, July 4th, will yell. And to many people in America, Independence Day means we became on this July 4th, independent from people who were overseeing us and from people who were in charge of what we do and what we should not do. The government on England, British, are they it's on set now, that is none. Could they eat now? Ah, what is in it? Oh, had a steel lag or a bed that he need not or she doesn't so. A condemned lady torn and they have Washington, British, England. Are they? It's on now. Are they shut off? Be at all. And she's tall. Que Nikikaya. It seems to be Kaya Pacarge. The statue of Kai. A condeda side of Ade Ton and the Yego. A can yotra. I don't know that 
cho so ta cho si do be ni na e ya e ha ye o be sa di ka cha ni hi ni hin che kes ni hin na ha ta an le ni hi ke la cha cho le ni hi chi a ju e e na li e a kwe da ni hi cha cho be ha de ni e o a di ni sa do ke da nan hi lo Ado khede konada ne te do ta te da kod ado on hi sne ne ta ne hi ni tse ni ta o e na de ni te do le ta no shi pe la kana tse na am te ha skaye na kede ne zna te do ba a te te do ba a a shla na khede da pe ha zna ne ha te di la declaration of independence wo liya. They passed that <coughs> law on July fourth, seventeen seventy-six, two hundred and forty-five years ago. I'm sure those of you are in school have been told quite a bit as to why that day, July fourth. Is very very important to people of America, as I said in Navajo. The people who came across from England were still very much under the strong hold of the government of England. They weren't. They couldn't do what they wanted to do, so eventually, they decided they want to be free. They want to be able to do what they want to do, to take care of themselves, their own children, their own relatives, to form their own government, and get away from being under the authority of. England, Jehotel, she, they declared what they called Declaration of Independence, and surely they didn't come free either. There were there were several battles before they actually achieved. The independence that they want. Toda ho shen la shen ko ne aran hin zine ho ta. Ina de no se ta do ho do ni da. Ayut bech ba ho chen pe ni na da ne se ne cha ho. Ona si da ke cha ka ba ho zhe a kon de. An hini zini a ina de ni te to ta ne ne beza ke hazli. So today, I mean, this coming Monday, the movies kinda we all in America will be celebrating Fourth of July and Independence. And what independent means back in those days, I'm sure, was freedom, liberty, and also to do what you want to do and be able to achieve with your own hand, your own mind, and not be subject to somebody else's rules and regulation. And two hundred and forty-five years, we've been very protective of that. A adet asati ina via via he kaya e ati konza ha. 
here in America. Ashinella Salagon das Kai, thought at his Arden Dark Kaisa. The independence will ye have at the the Ostridi will not. Even in a sagged out, Nicky Salau Salau saw Nature belt on Hadde Street. Eight or she asked by Kevinson, July fourth, connect. Hala E. Sato Payne not not eighty year on Hitcher. Bell don't have a discreet. So, all of you, happy Independence Day this coming Monday. I don't get that. Could all be in his snaggy? Sit ye nay, you know, will ya? Sit ke. Oh, what's on all jay? This young man, never hope. Born or raised in the mountains, really had power. The power he had was hunting. He can hunt better than anyone else. He knows how to find a game that he is after, like deer, Elk, moose, all those kind of animals. He has the power to run down or bring about those animals close to him where he could kill them with his arrows. Ah, what are? Sato Digin Bihila Na Jehigi said the Yego Yego Ish Ado and Detta Penago the Ned and Linigi. Other tribes, like the Pueblo people, all knew this young man raised in the mountain. Is his name? Tribes like Utes, Comanches. Other tribes also heard of this powerful Navajo young man. One day, the Utes from the north came looking for him. And they eventually captured him. Sitli ne yane, sato, they sit. They tied him up, <coughs> blindfold him. Benike is balo, a gant lash be is slow. They put him on a horse and they start. Taking him, leading his horse several days. Nadinestra, I mean, Zilene Yane really didn't know where he was going. 
day and night. Finally, they got somewhere up in the north, Rocky Mountains. Later, God, hard she. They took him there. It was a village, a Ute village. Teepees. And there, they put him inside the teepee. There was snow on the ground outside. Put him in a teepee. They un they took the blindfold off. But they kept him tight behind his back. And they had two guards watching him. Now, this young Navajo hunter, didn't know where he was. Then, what, <clears throat> except these two guards sitting there, they feed him. And they uh, ask what gives him power to be so successful hunter. They want that power from him. And he won't tell them. So, they whip him, try to get him to tell them what gives him the power that he has to be a great hunter. As a matter of fact, he had the power over most of these animals that he was hunting. The Utes want that power. They take him outside. There was about three or four inches of snow on the ground. He looked, he saw a whole lot of teepees. The Kwishi, Nepal, Naznel. Double cone, there were fires burning outside. And they told him that if they don't, if he does not tell them the power that he has, then they're going to stretch his body until the, all the limbs come off. And they showed him a place. There was a buffalo hide on the ground saying, we're going to put you there. And we're going to pull the stakes tied to your legs, your arms, and start pulling them off. unless you tell us your power. Ahota. What in the has in that she? I don't that that they took him back inside the teepee. And they the guards, two guards there. And they, the youths were 
singing and dancing outside. He could hear it beating the drum. And at this moment, don't so. A messenger whispered in his ears and said, they're singing out there, dancing, war dance. They're going to kill you tomorrow unless you tell them your power. Eh, between the machine, eh, to had an old a conde WH eight. They'll tell you that if you tell us, we're going to let you go, but don't believe them. They're going to get rid of you one way or another. That was what was whispered in his ears by a spiritual messenger, don't so. And he keeps hearing that drum and song and hooping. Finally, the messenger came to him again and said, very shortly, Bluebird will come in and Bluebird will put these two guards to sleep. And also, the entire village, bluebirds can all go to village, all those villages, and put everybody to sleep. They won't be singing, they won't be drumming anymore. And when the bluebird put these two guards to sleep. Then a small <clears throat> animal will come behind you and untie your hands. And when that happens, you can escape. So, sure enough, a bluebird flew in. Dully. And put these two guards to sleep. And then the bluebird flew out. Very surely everything got quiet. Though it's at the nether had trash. At the door it's at has lame. Well, na kine na kia, ha hasido ha akaliane so ishaj. Ade na zise, well, yahal what. 
got in the bag untied him and then the the messenger said now quickly get out and head south and keep going don't waste any time so he got up everything was quiet everybody must be asleep all the tps so zhi ne yan reared in the mountain took out with the snow by 3 or 4 inches headed south just before he left the village one old youth man came out of tp and saw him and then he start alerting waking up everybody saying never who had escaped so they all got up never who reared in the mountain ran as fast as he could at night and the youths were getting ready to try to track him in the morning warriors youth warriors settled their horses and start nine days the enemy gets a little closer on their horseback tracking him then the holy people stopped them like the spider spider woman who create webs and that slows them down while he while this navajo reared in the mountain gain distance then they come after him again the next thing then the different things like hail storm by the size of a baseball were come down on the warriors that was chasing him kill some of them eventually after 9 days with all these help from different living beings that we live with save him so he could gain more distance until finally he reached a high peak just north of Farmington New Mexico there was before Farmington was even there he got to the top he looked to the south and saw a big large area looks like a lake an ocean and from the middle of that a rock protruded through the water and way beyond that he sees the mountain which today we call chuska mountain chuska so he now knows his bag home 
but he's got a long distance from the top of that hill all the way back to Chuska, uh, Chuska. And he had to travel that water. So he got down from the high peak down to the edge of the water. And an eagle picked him up, took him all the way back to Chuskai, Chuska Mountain. That's where he was raised. When he got there, ah, the Chuska Zilpagad Nikindel Tralo just put his foot back down on that ground. He saw all these mountain animals. All come around welcoming him home. He was so good and so happy. The bears, the deer, squirrels, porcupine, all these mountain species all came to celebrate his return to the mountain. Zechran Natsa. Oh, Hayehe, Basa has lain. And they, in those time periods, this is the fourth world. We still had the, we're now in the fifth world. What the story I'm telling you is in the fourth world. When animals and Navajos were talk, would talk to each other and understand each other. So, obviously, there were a lot of conversation between these mountain animals and Zilinayana. And they move him, almost carrying him down to a location. And that location had a big round of brush arbor. It's nestion. Trees cut down all the way around with an opening to the east. And a big fire in the middle. Inside, there are all these different animals. Down in the center was a space set for him. Ado Santa that no. Then they had ceremony for Zikine Yana different group, the bears were coming with their form of dance, songs. They would leave. Then another group would come in, maybe this time the elk. 
They'll go dance around that big fire in the middle, singing their songs. And they go out. Another group, maybe this time porcupine group, come in. They sing. They dance around the fire. Aro, na nasa. Went on all night long until dawn. They have some tricks, tricksters. Ah, eh. Dee. These mountain people taught this Navajo. The songs and the prayers and all these different dances by different mountain species. And they finish. Ado. They prepared a bundle, which is Juno Yahade de La. They gave it to him. And he left. This story, which is just give you just certain highlights of a story that actually might take 10 days to tell, maybe more. Why? Because today, teach we still practice that ceremony called fire dance. Some of them call it fire dance. And you probably wonder how did uh, how did that ceremony come about? What does it mean? If you go to in winter time to a fire dance. It's a nine day ceremony that the root of that ceremony is just what I gave you just a little outline of how it was born back in the fourth world. Of course, we also escaped the fourth world with everything that we had up to this fifth world that we are now called Nihikeya. So, if, if you wonder, as I said, when you go to those far dads, they replicate, they put an arbor around, have a fire, and they have men dressed like these different animals to sing their songs and saying their prayers with a patient sitting down in the center next to the arbor. So now, at least you know 
how the ceremony came about that we all now use for various mental and physical cure of our people. Did as to Aaj itna shudrin da hasahaki bahane that yon snes a condit o hane pi kado eti kodo nehilchena a. I didn't learn all of those, but my grandfather who was uh, knowledgeable in that story, just told me enough to understand where the, far, the ceremony we call fire dance came from. So at least now you know, it's kind of similar to not the nest, huh? They also, brought about a ceremony that we call Naat Oye. And still, there are medicine men out there who, who are specialized in that, I'm sure. If you really want to know more, you find one of those medicine men. <clears throat> more than likely, they won't tell you all. Never her custom. You don't tell all, because when you tell it all, they say, you lose it. So you, just like the weavers, they don't weave it all the way through, they leave an opening. So in Navajo way, unless you're going to be a medicine man, yes, It'll take maybe three or four years to learn it all. Then they tell you all of it. They leave one or two things un untold, and that's for you to find out on your own. That's Navajo custom, Navajo tradition. Yeah. See you next time.